Well, whatever happens to the city affects exports and imports. Of course, the president of the Ghana Union of Traders Association, Dr. Joseph Obin, says that the city has been much more stable in the beginning of this year, especially as it's aiding the movement of goods and services at the ports. To tell you the truth, um, the city have been, uh, against the dollar have been uh, stable. Um, even since um, 2020, throughout 2020, okay. uh, 2020 started with um, 5.7 uh, 5 and ended around 5.93. And we are still within um, that bridge. Today, if you, you ask me how much I'm buying um, dollar with the CD, um, I would say that it's 5.93. It means that the dollar um, they, uh, against the CD have been quite um, stable and it's being sustained. That's what I can say. And this is happening because now import is being suppressed. Because um, at this time, it was expected that the dollar would have um, gone up against the uh, CD because um, the, of the Chinese holiday. Um, when Chinese um, uh, traders are leaving um, for their country, they change a lot of dollars and all that. Let's bring in Courage Mata. He's an economist with Data Bank. Courage, we're so grateful that you joined us via phone. First of all, we're hearing some sort of a contradictory message there. City is going to hit six cities by the end of this year, based on a projection from the economic think tank, as well as Guta stating that it has performed much more good uh, in the very better performance in the beginning of this particular month. Where do you draw the line when it comes to the performance of the city? Well, um, thank you very much, Charles, for having me. Um, I think that the, the two arguments have merit. First of all, Dr. Obeying of Guta actually is making reference to the performance of the CD over the course of last year mm. against the odds of COVID shock. And then the performance so far this year in the past 18 or so trading days or uh, um, um, calendar days. Now, so far this year, it's shown immense stability, losing just 0.01 percent against the dollar on the interbank market. And, and what you will see is that if this trend of stability continues, it does not necessarily rule out hitting six cities as is being projected by the earlier report you mentioned. Mm. And that is because looking at where we are at the, on the retail market where we have 5.93 to the dollar, if you move from 5.93 to cities or a little over that against the dollar by end of year, not today, but by end of year, that would be equivalent to some 5% depreciation this year. Now, if you do a historical analysis of depreciation, you will notice that 5% is not out of the question at all, because averagely in the last four years, for instance, we've done 7.5% average depreciation. So it tells you that if you go by the city's trend performance, Six cities is a possibility. And again, not just because it is stable today, but there's a timeline of up and down movement that could move us towards that level. It would be interesting to see what that means for the central bank's broader macroeconomic framework and how they will be prepared to tackle such a situation against inflation outlook and against the government debt service cost. Well, speaking about the central bank, we do know that they have issued out specific auctions in excess of about 50 million U.S. dollars. Of course, they are much more at the forefront of dealing with the upsurge of the CD's you know, downfall against major currencies. What more can, do you think the regulator must do to ensure the CD is in check moving forward? Well, um, I, I think um, and what they've done so far and have signaled that they will do gives a lot of confidence in the CD, and that is why we are seeing this kind of um, stability. In addition, we notice that there's a lot of foreign portfolio flows into the country, and so far that has been a very supportive factor or an anchor for the city stability year to day. Now, when those funds come in, there is a high chance of having hot money amongst those portfolio flows. And first money is one that just comes to scoop some gains and normally would leverage and come and scoop some gains and go back and, and to make some carry trade and go back to make uh, 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 away with their returns. It is important to monitor this kind of first money flows so that they don't distort currency stability. And another thing the central bank has
has to do is to ensure that the repatriation of export proceeds back within the domestic economy mm. within the stipulated time is followed to particularly big multinationals in the oil and gas sector as well as in the mining sector. It is very important. And then not to leave out the fiscal situation where the sizable monetization of the deficit that we saw in 2020 cannot be repeated in 2021 unless we post shock to the CB. Courage, we're so grateful that you joined us. He's an economist with Data Bank, helping us have a deep analysis into the prospects of the city as we're learning it might hit the six city mark by the end of this year.